Uh, so I have Uther as the best support, Nubarak as the best warrior, then Arthas and Dahaka. I would say Dahaka is probably better, although he's not solo tank, he is better. Probius is no longer tier 1. Um, I don't know if he's even tier 2. I th I th I'd like to think that he is. Uh, Zagara seems quite strong, so I'm going to move her up a little. Definitely more reliable than Savannah's Medivh Hammer Vikings Abba. Um, Abba, I would say, is probably more reliable than those. This is, of course, not GM-only tier list, oh, though it is closer to GM than it is to Bronze, uh, as I do base it on my own experiences as well as competitive play. Um... Malph, I'm not sure he's tier 1 anymore. Tassadar got nerfed also. Uh, Brightwing, I like her a little bit better these days. Tyrande is pretty decent as well. Tyrande might be here. Ah, but she's hard to play. And her wave clear is low. I'm not going to put her too high. I think this is fine. Hmm... Nazibo sees very little play, but I don't think that makes him bad per se. Does he still deserve to be the best tier 1 specialist, which basically makes him the best specialist since I don't have anyone at tier S? I don't I don't think so. Mm, Osmo and Nazibo. I feel like they're good at some point. I feel like Zigara is even more... Oh, I'm banning. Thanks. Uh, Cursed Hollow. Mm. Trunger always plays stitches. I'll just counterban. <laughs> Gul'dan doesn't seem S class anymore, but Brilliant. he's still a good assassin. Vala, I'm finding her more and more reliable these days, so I move her, her up a little bit. Zeratul is so hard to play that I'm gonna move him again back to tier 2. Uh, I'm finding Chromie pretty good, as well as Lunara. <laughs> Lunara is actually more of a tier 1, I think. Alarak tier 1. I have my second guess on that. Uh, Tracer, Jaina. Jaina is going to be going up soon, but she isn't yet. Illidan is still hit and miss when you play with them. Finally. Butcher is probably better than Rag and Rainer. I'm not sure though. Probably. Tracer can be very good even without proper Tusk support, so I'm actually going to move her up. I think I'd rather have a Tracer, the average Tracer, than Alarak from what I've usually seen. Kerrigan might actually be better than these two. Gaul might be better than Cho, destiny. though, yeah, he usually gets MVP, so I'll put him there. Murky Gazlo, 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 yeah. Medivh is so good and competitive, but I'm gonna move him down. I thank you. Or am I? No. No. Worst tier 2 then. We want Gazlo, thank you, Emmanuel, for that not true opinion. <laughs> I don't think people want that. Um, Garrosh, I like him a lot. I don't think Arthas is S tier. Uh, would I rather have Garrosh or Arthas? They're both really good. Diablo's good, Sitch is good, Sonya's good. Varian, I don't think he deserves to be tier one. I like Muradin, he's tier one these days. Uh, am I banning? They have Chromie and Varian. Chromie, Varian. We have Alarak, Stukov, Asmodan. Which support would be best against us? Rhaegar, Malph. Who combines best with Varian? P -p 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 uh, Uther? Uther for Alarak or Rhaegar? I think Uther's too good against double silence. So I'll ban Uther. He 
He, he did get nerfed, Uther, but I think he's still really good. Rhaegar might be the best now. Together with Uther, I think. I think Ariel dropped a lot. I don't know how much yet, so I'll leave her here for now. Who's the best specialist? It might actually be Zigara. I mean, the best competitively? Probably Ava. I think Zigara actually deserves to be tier 1. Nazibo, I don't think he's as good anymore, especially because of double support. I'm actually going to move him down here. He's quite heavy to carry into the late game, usually. Uh, Dahaka, Greymane, Varian, Chromie. Mm. Greetings, friend. I heed the voice of Elun. ETC is quite good. I will fight to my last Tenors, breath. Tenors Rexar. This looks mostly right. Brightwing, maybe more reliable than Lily? Depends. Malthiel, maybe not top tier 1 anymore. Genji Greymane still are. Uh, I think Malth might be more reliable than Gul'dan. Cassia tier 1, Kel'thas Liming, yes. Kel'thas or Lunara? I think Kel'thas... Lunara is like more diverse. I think Kel'thas can be better, but she's more versatile, so I'll move her up a little bit. In fact, I'd rather have Lunara than Liming mostly. It's just the really good Limings that help to turn a game. But I feel like the average Lunaris will do better than the average Minx. It's hard to say, but I think so. So, I'll leave it like this for okay. now. Prepare for combat, everybody. It's not an exact science, anyway. Hope you're ready, because we start in 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Yes. Okay, here we go. Have you tried the new bruiser assassin Lucio yet? Yeah, I did. I'm 1-1 one -one with him in Hero League. To run the best deep push to the Haka, no problem. Good evening, Grubby. What would your dream job be apart from gaming jobs? I don't know. Meet your end. The goddess's wrath descends. She actually does okay. As the goddess wills. Back for now, only to strike again. Oh, let us make this hundred percent anticipated.
Let us make haste. The goddess's wrath descends. So be it. My mana is low. The goddess's wrath descends. As the goddess wills. Require additional mana. The goddess's wrath descends. She actually lanes pretty decent against uh, the Haka. I like it. He needs to use the bushes more, but so be it. This hero has become a nuisance. Eliminate him. Oh, I'll check it out, Flip Flop Ninja, if I can. I'll try to check it out. Both. 
new specialists around it. Yeah. <laughs> The choice is simple. The goddess's wrath descends. The loon hides you. Let us make this. Lend your strength to this ally. Meet your end. <laughs> Osmo can deny for so long. Favor heroes. Let your rain boss know my wrath. Meet your end. As the goddess force destroy. I thank you for that. This game is fun. She's a talent. You may be the shadow. The goddess's wrath descends. As the goddess wills. My curse subsides. Oh, a fort backdoored us. You know, it's so cool when they explode like that. Is this the owl build? Yep. Only to strike at owl build. You can tell by the fact that there's two quest counters for owl. One is the base, which is a base quest, and one is the uh, the extra owl quest. This down one, this one down here is the extra. Let us capture this mercenary camp. Meet your end. Snatch the shot clock. Has the goddess moved? Looks like we're all safe. Nice. They're probably doing the top. So it's not just the damage that you're after, it's also the width and the uh, vision. Oh. Huh. 
Just like that. We did it. So easy with normal team. <laughs> Sounds like he was tilted. <laughs> MVP. Very nice. Steam roll. Uh, yeah. So you can solo lane pretty well against the Haka. And it has nothing to do with your talents except Darnasi and Archery. The other two level fours would help more with the solo versus the Haka, but you don't need it. It's just a base CDR on the queue that's embedded in the Toronto kit. Now, I do feel like he could have borrowed any time to the tribute and make it a 5v4. And I don't really know why he didn't. I did not have that option. So it's not about... You know, there's two ways to see a global. One is... I will get one more minion wave of XP. My lane opponent leaves. I will get maybe another minion wave of XP. Join the fight. And we will have a 5 versus 5 after having a 4 versus 4. And my opponent's travel time, I will use it to get bonus XP and bonus wave and bonus push. That's number one, and that's the method he was using. But because I never left, he never left. Because he never gets the one extra wave, but that's option one. Option two is leaving instantly, even, either during my leaving or even before I leave. Leaving instantly as a global and making it a five versus four. The risk being, if the 5 versus 4 doesn't achieve anything in, 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 in 10 seconds, I will be there, or, or 15 or 20. Uh, in, in 30 seconds, we will start to severely out XP the global guy. But we're winning a 4v5, how? Or at least delaying it. In, in a minute, we'll be a level ahead because of it. But then you have to ask yourself, how hard does Tarana push the towers? Not hard at all. Now, if I'm Zagara mm -hmm. and he's the Haka... I will win the lane, but let's let's think for a moment that I don't win that lane hard. And he leaves. I will do massive damage to the fort. But as Tyrande, I will not. Alarak, Tyrande, Malthael, they solo pretty well. But they don't push the lane hard because they have low structural damage. So the Haka at any point could have left. And, and make a good situation for his team. And we'll get a little bit of XP out of it, but barely a tower. I feel like he could have done that because basically we won this game due to two to three protracted tribute phases where they could not cap fast enough despite having two warriors on their team. Now we could poke well with Osmo, they could poke well with Chromie, but we also have Tyrande with the owl across the map. Tyrande can have a huge push power by healing melee minion. That's a really good point, Lana Folk. But my actual damage on structures isn't as high, right? Remove this hero from the fight. Do this. <laughs> I'm so lucky. 